spun red You're hotter than hell And I've been long gone, couldn't you tell The smoke in the air That I'm two hours away from seeing the biggest tree in the world And there's not a tree in sight right now It's been nine months since my last video. Life is good. I'm still in California. I'm still working a lot and working on a lot, but I had two days off in a row, which is rare, so I came to Sequoia National Park, which is where I am now, and it feels so good to be out of the city for a bit back into the quiet. It's funny how trees seem to be kind of the opposite to problems in a way. Because from a distance, like a tree doesn't look that big, but then when you give it perspective, it's huge. And I feel like a problem is the opposite because it seems huge, but then given perspective, it's not that big. It's a big tree we got here. Let me give you a little uh, perspective. I think being around something as old and huge as a tree like this definitely gives you perspective on a lot of your problems, especially seeing that they're burnt and scarred and broken, yet they're still standing after hundreds of years. It's also just interesting being around the national park. There's such a specific vibe. I love it, it's so cool. There's so many people from all over the world here. And it's just cool to see how much happier people are when they are in awe of something. 
I think being in awe also makes your problems just seem more insignificant. And I think for most people that's very much subconscious. But it's just cool to see how happy everybody is in this kind of environment. I mean, yes, I guess they are on vacation, but they're surrounded by real things, trees and rocks and mountains and beauty that is not artificial. But yeah, speaking of problems, I don't actually know where I'm sleeping tonight. Crazy. Snack can. It's uh, resting on a bag of apples right now. I should say you're resting on a bag of apples. I just talked to a park ranger about. Um, where I should camp, and he said somewhere in there. And I think we have like uh less than two hours before the sun sets now, so we need to get moving. Got a map in my lap, uh, and figuring it out. Already got lost, but we're back on track, I think, so. It's cool not having any service and not knowing where you're going. It's refreshing, we never ever do that anymore, I feel like, so. It's cool, I just have the map and a general sense of direction, and that's it. We'll see what we find. Found a campsite for the night. It's a clearing, so I should be able to see some stars. But I'm pretty exhausted just because I worked until midnight last night. Woke up at 4.15 a.m. So I got like three and a half hours of sleep. Drove about eight and a half hours to get here and then hiked around all day. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna eat a little bit, play some music, look at the stars once it's dark, and then go to bed probably by like eight o'clock. It's 
about 6 a.m. I'm just waking up. It's still dark outside. Um, I slept pretty well, except I uh, woke up at like 3. And um, it was so smoky. There was fire activity nearby. Gonna get moving. And find a hike. And hopefully it's light out soon. Everybody's just down there, living their life in the desert. The wind has turned to fish poles, the cities are seas, the cars are drowning underneath your feet. Children are swimming on the top of the trees. Crowds of umbrellas are standing misbelief. Well, Mary kept sewing, holding on to her TV. Even if the water is rising past the knees. Here comes the river, They're coming on strong. I was walking by this elderly gentleman talking to this younger couple yesterday. The winter's turn to fish poles. And he was explaining the the to them that the younger sequoias actually need the Cars fires to burn away everything that would block the sun. I thought that was one of the coolest things because I had been walking around just looking at the huge scars on the sides of these trees. But I think we can all learn from that. Because everybody wants to grow. But the way life is portrayed, nobody really shows that they've had to walk through some fires to get where they are. And so when you're trying to grow, it's definitely easy to be in the mindset of trying to grow or succeed without getting burnt. But to be honest, I think those scars are a part of what makes the sequoias so beautiful and powerful looking. Sometimes, sometimes I don't
Santa Gaste Church